They will be diving into this particular stuff about the Amazon just released not quite long. Disappointing content. As you can see on my screen, disappointing content. So Amazon, one way or the other, they are kind of uh, update their, their content guidelines, which most of us, we are kind of skeptical. Some people are thinking, should I stop publishing for now? We don't know what's going on. But to make it easy, I'll be breaking it down. What they really mean to a layman English, whereby you and I will be able to understand. Without further ado, let's dive in. So, guys, first thing first, guys, this is my channel. My I remain the Nelcon, the KTP guy. This is the spelling of the Nelcon for people that find it difficult to pronounce my name or spell my name. So, just come to this channel, Nelcon, Nelcon KDP, add Nelcon KDP. So, you see my channel. Don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Uh, give my videos the, the thumbs up that it needs uh, as well. Don't forget to share with families and friends that you think want to learn about Amazon KDP. Because I share almost every week, I share tips. What you need to be done to make money online, especially when for this Agbadu economy we find ourselves. So, guys, without further ado, let's just dive into this topic. Like I said, these are the disappointing contents that we have seen online. So, the first one. So, what they mean here? We don't allow, we do not allow content that disappoints our customers or create a poor shopping experience, including but not limited to. We all, we all know we have been to Amazon KDP for over some time now. Amazon don't joke with their. With their customers because that's where they see money even we as a publisher well, we are one way or the other we are uh their customer because we are bringing money to the table no matter the book we publish they have some cuts out of it even though everything is free they have some cut out of it which they make and honestly speaking that i will one thousand dollars five hundred dollars two thousand dollars i am making is nothing to compare to what they are seeing and they don't joke with their customers so anything that will give them bad review this and that they don't want it that will make their name or jeff name in, in general be drag they don't want it so that's why they bring out these rules so the number one says content that either market as a subscription or redirects leaders to an external source to obtain full content so what they really means here is a uh, there are some books where in the beginning of the book, you know when you are publishing books on Amazon KDP or people that know how to do research well, let's say you are looking for a book to model. So what you do, you go and check the book. There's a way you can check sample or check inside, depending on, uh, they have changed the English to check sample now. So once they, once they, once once you click on check sample, some people, they have their way, that I guess first or second page, they are like some subscription. Once you read, you just click on the link, especially for the Kindle, you can easily click on a link that will redirect you to another website or yeah or website or email list to subscribe to that email list or another website that's what they are talking about here subscription to subscribe to their email list maybe you are you are like advertising a product by clicking once they click on it they'll be able to add, uh, go to that where the product is they don't want anything of such on their platform anymore even though it's available before i've seen a book with, then when i was looking for a book to model i've seen a book that's that's what they do that's what they even advertise in their courses your first second or third page which amazon give a uh, potential buyer or customer to read they don't want others link in their book anymore so let's jump to the second one i believe you have understand that content con content that's freely available on web without even reading this one now to the details most of us into kdp we, sh we should understand this better most especially we are into biography I, I once did biography i stopped sometime january you get based on the competition there is too much at the same time if care is not taken they could just just do the work they'll terminate the account so that's one of the reasons I, I stopped doing biography though i started biography in november and i stopped in january honestly speaking when they terminate my account too so basically what they mean here is free available on, on web people that are into um what's it called that are into uh trend niche you know when you're doing trend you see your information based on article based on what people what people is saying based on what cnn is saying what based on what bbc is saying and for people into uh trend no not trend now biography you check different articles to get a biography of a celebrity or of politician. So if you don't know how to paraphrase well, if you don't know how to check plagiarism well, you will fall under this category. You must. You know, it's not a must. So you should know how to do the plagiarism checks and uh, paraphrasing well. Even with doing all these things, you go still, if Amazon won't come for you, they will always come for you. So basically, I would suggest 
don't base on your research on one article or two uh, one article or two article post or one blog or two two blog posts for me when i was doing it i'll do like three to four uh blog posts with wikipedia joined together then i have a way of using chat gbt chat gbt is one of the best thing that i'll say has happened for the last going to is it more than two years now two, going to two years i can't really remember so if you don't know how to prompt chat, chat gbt well you have issue you have issue some people are still finding it difficult to understand chat gbt even you are using chat gbt or not but make sure you paraphrase your book make sure you check for plagiarism whatever you need you are doing even though the cookbook you are doing to you are doing cookbook you are doing uh, no matter the niche you are doing make sure you paraphrase well especially we nigerians basically most of our information are, are we, we, we source it online we source it online we self publish that we define money we source it online so if you don't do it well you must fall under this category so what they are trying to say here now make sure you do your book well make sure you do the paraphrasing well make sure you do the plagiarism check well and make sure your plagiarism is 100 percent checked so that's what they really mean here next one is a um, content whose primary purpose is to solicit or advise um advertise uh what they really mean here is um <laughs> So this is, I've never seen a book like that. Maybe in your book, you are begging for one thing, you are begging for subscription to subscribe for your YouTube channel, subscribe for your, um, just soliciting for, maybe soliciting for money, soliciting for your email list. They don't want it. They don't want it. Or advice, or you are advertising a product. Let's say the product is not even an Amazon website in general. They really don't want it. They really don't want it at all. So soliciting advertising don't anything like soliciting your book don't do it soliciting for anything maybe soliciting for subscription join your 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 youtube channel joining your or advertising a product for people that are into affiliate marketing i guess i guess this is a stop maybe you're into affiliate marketing you're writing about uh, let's say you're writing health book so you're affiliating a product a product link in your book or using a barcode or a, 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 a link in the book they don't want it so if you are if you have been doing that before now please i will i will tell you please make sure you stop or else they are coming for your account um what's the next thing here if you publish a romance yeah if you publish a romance novel you can publish the book with two cover so for this i try to paraphrase this particular information so that we can understand better so i did we have done number one number two number three number four and this is number five so i have it here as well so let me click it and check this number one i've explained number one i've explained number two because i said this number three this number three and number four is that where we are i want to be sure this number four so what, what what did I just read now? It says if you are publishing a romance novel. So what they mean here is using the same cover. Ah, these are this is where we are at the moment. Using the same the same cover, stuff cover and over over again. So what they really mean here in this particular number, this particular stuff. Let's take for instance, you. I guess people that are into this will understand it better. Um, uh, low content books, low content books, for instance. If by chance you publish, you know, for low con content book, you can change low content book like like journals, like children color book, this and that. You can publish the manuscripts. That's the inside of the book, or you can change covers for low content book. You imagine you. Uh, uh let's say color book for instance you can decide to do a color book for children you can decide to do the first cover targeting the female children or rather for male children while the third cover can be for general children in general so that they can just see it and you can decide to put age range for for the color books but the same manuscript whereas the same inside but the cover is different so for this novel what they are trying to say you can publish the you can publish two books you can publish the book with two covers the original cover and a descript of alternate version. Hmm. So let's take for instance, you are publishing a like this the talk here, romance novel. Sorry, I have a call. Sorry, I have a call. Uh, uh, let me pause the video. Hello. 
Yeah, sorry about that, about that guys. I have to pick the call. It's very uh, an urgent call. So, like I mentioned here, what they are trying to see here, this particular, let me highlight it. Let's take, for instance, you have a book like, like a romance book. Let's say the book is, um, it has different version. Let's say the same book as book one, book two. You can use, uh, what they say, let, let, me, let, me, let me read what they say here. You can publish the book with two covers. You get, maybe with different style. Let's, let, let me use volume one and volume two, for instance, with different style. Once you do that, make sure you indicate it on the cover. That's what they, they told you here. So the content of the, of the book can be the same as long as the cover is different. Do you get that what I try I was trying to explain when it comes to low content book. You can use the content, the content of the book can be the same as long as the cover is different. Low content book will be able to explain this as well. that's why I mentioned low content book from the beginning. So for, for such book, since the manuscript is the same thing, that's the inside of the book, you can decide to change the cover. And let's take for instance for the romance they just mentioned. One way or the other, maybe you have something to add to this particular book. You have a new version, for instance. You have a new version for that particular book. So indicate it on the book cover. This is what, this is what they, they wrote it. Indicate this that maybe it's alternate version or the, the strict version, depending on what it is. Or what, maybe it's volume one or volume two. Just make sure you indicate it. The fact that you are using the same manuscript, that's the inside of the book. We call it manuscript. Doesn't stop you from publishing, but make sure you you do different covers and 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 explain on the cover maybe it's volume one maybe it's volume two maybe this particular one is like a uh this particular one is for male and the second one is for female just depend on what book you are working on that's what they mean why the next one is, is self-explanatory content that is too short i've seen it i've seen, some people are just there to i don't understand you have book less than 10 pages and you publish and you put that you put the kindle version at 7.99 and you put the paperback as a as a what's it called let's say 12 13 14 i've seen 19 99 24 happen if now you go buy them come on guys let's be considered at times you have a short book most i i do see this thing is in biography book in trend book why what what doing is what doing well guys once you are working on a book, do it well. That's why we used to preach. You can check all these top, 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 top KDP guys. Abraham Ejina, Lega Nera, Tayo, uh, what's it called? Fengi, no matter who they are. They, they preach it. Quality over quantity. Don't rush. Yes, we need money. But be, let me tell you something. If you should learn this KDP work, it's even much more than earning money in dollars, much more than me selling your book. Because automatically you are learning, you are learning a skill whereby you can even render the skills you are doing work on Amazon KDP as a as a service to all these white people on different platforms. So what what doing is what doing well. Stop publishing 10, 15, 20 um, books and publish on Amazon KDP. They don't really want it. It doesn't even worth it. Don't worth your time. So guys, that's what they mean there. Let me continue. So up next is uh, contents that is poorly translated this one is self explanatory as well so over time now we try to explore more markets uh markets please that's the english yeah markets please so we try to translate our books using different software using different applications i remember i did a video on my youtube channel this particular video let me show you guys you can watch it to learn how to translate your book in less than 30 seconds but over over some time now i i get some information though since i've been using that i've never I, I seen any complaint that my my translate state version is is incorrect from the comment uh, from the review section do you get and my book has never been blocked do you get but to be on the safer side, guys, if you start making money on Amazon KDP, because we understand all these translated stuff, we don't know how to read it. Only if you understand French, only if you understand, um, only if you understand Spanish or the ever language you are translating to, you can now read by on your own and know if it's correct or not. But to be sure of what you are doing, I will beseech you guys go and um, go to platform like Fiverr, go to platform like Upwork, check for countries, Philippines, a country that are cheap. They can easily help you to translate your book. Basically, you can go on Upwork or Fiverr, country you want to translate your books to. Let's say you want to translate your books to French. You can go to any French-speaking country on that platform. 
give them your books they will have you translate it perfectly with if you insist that you want to translate other languages but outside that guys be careful so i'm still making some research as well as to that video i'm still making to be to be sure if the google translation uh, translation video i did if it's right or wrong and if it's if people have, have uh, if I've, I've gotten enough reason that is not is not working well i'll be publishing a new video which i'm making i'm, I'm working on at the moment that speaks about translation how to translate your book using any or any software that i know is working but i need to verify the software well because amazon only they can joke with us so you need to verify if the software worth it or not if it's not worth it i won't publish the video and if it's worth it so watch out for that video from me i'll be doing that for you guys so next they mention here is uh Content that does not provide an enjoyable reading experience. Abba, for me, I don't know. I have, I have my way of drafting my, my book. I make sure my, my, no matter the book I'm publishing, I'm not doing a cookbook though, but no matter the book I'm publishing, I, I, I make it, I, I read, I read my, I, I write as if I'm a reader, not as a writer. So if I've seen, if I should count since when I started Amazon KDP, going to two years now, books that have, I am writing on that I feel oh, more this book. I know I don't get the connection. I know feel I will just leave the book, delete it from my from my what's it called list, and I won't work on it again. Or if I want to work on it, I'll start afresh. I might, I must make sure I feel the book myself as a reader, not as a writer. If if you are writing, don't be too, yes, you want to make sure you have enough book. They say yes, is a game of number, at least for a niche, you have to have like 20 to 50 books before you jump to another niche so you want to make sure you have enough book on that niche guys it doesn't work that way don't rush if it's one book per day you can do please take your time rest yeah yes you are the writer but see the book as a as a reader bag people that will buy if do you enjoy reading this book the flow the tone the tone the style of writing do you enjoy it we have ai that can help you guys ChatGPT is one of the best AI. We have Gemini AI that can help you write books. They can rewrite it to make it enjoyable. It's just a matter of prompts. Learn the right prompts on how to do it. And bet you me, you will enjoy your book even as a reader, as a writer that you are. Convert yourself as a reader when you are writing and make sure the book is enjoyable. Because what does what was the English? Let readers feel they are reading something. Let the book be engaging. Let them let them have that um, feelings that. Let me see what the next page look like. Let me see what the, what the next page look like. It's not that they will just read, uh, get bored. Then you can understand what I'm trying to say. Let's use movie for instance. If you are watching a movie, you like there's a movie that you are you are already anticipating for the next scene. That's how your book should look like. If if you are watching some movie that, um, uh, I beg, I don't feel this movie or the movie where they make you sleep. Come on, you just shut the movie up. You won't watch it anymore. Yeah. But movie that you are anticipating to see what will happen next, I make that particular stuff applicable to your book and you see the you see the magic because once one person read and at least out of 10 one will drop a review and people are dropping review you too you love what you are what you are working on now so bonus content that appear before a, a before the primary contents bonus in the sense that you are working on a how will i put it let me read it again. Bonus content that appear before a primary for before a book primary content. Let's say, for instance, you are writing on um recipe book for uh, recipe book for weight loss. Let me just that weight loss is the broader niche. So now, before you now start the recipe book, you are now writing you are now writing a something that is not even relating to recipe book, or you are writing about I don't know how to put it now. How will I even put this stuff oh, that you can understand better? Because it's self explanatory though. So, can I recipe book this thing? Okay, you know, okay, you're writing a recipe book. Before you announce that, maybe your introduction or the next page or acknowledge, you're not doing something relating to football. It's contradicting. Or maybe because you want to advertise your email list, which they already mentioned in the, in the first space. You want to advertise other stuff that you do. You want to advertise the products. That is not corresponding to the stuff the recipe we are doing. They don't want it. Go straight to the point. Let people are looking. I have an example here. Let's let's check the, the example together. I have an example. Let's check it together. So example is uh, imagine you buy a book about learning a skill. Yeah, that's the example I wrote here. Imagine you buy a book about learning a skill, but instead of teaching you, it's keep 
it just keep telling you to buy something else that's a physical example that i've written here so let me switch from that recipe book that i mentioned to handwriting you buy a book that you want you to learn how to use <laughs> how to use chat gbt for instance so you, as you are buying you bought the book so that you want to learn chat gbt at the end of the day you bought the book the beginning of the book is telling you to subscribe to a to you know, to a, a a baby niche or anything relating to baby you know that you bought the book that you want to learn how to use, uh, use chat gbt you already have that anticipation yes i want to learn how to use chat gbt but the beginning of the book now say saying another thing yes you still have that content in the book but you, you are trying to advertise other stuff come on how will you feel as, as as the end user as a reader so that's what they are trying to explain here content that is <laughs> excessively reused recycle or repeated within within a within or across books you for people that model book you have to be careful to read yes i model book yeah but you have to be careful with book modeling if you are modeling a book please do it the right way course creator creates a book for a reason a, a course for a reason i remember when i bought i brought my original course back then in 20 2020 then so he used ADHD as an example of writing how to how to how to understand Amazon KDP writing skills. I can bet you out of we are over eleven thousand in that group. I can tell you that over three thousand did the same thing. Imagine, imagine what people are doing. The, yes, the fact that course creator said we should he, he use something as an example doesn't mean you should do it. You just they have to make an example for you to understand. So imagine someone. That's really what happened when it comes to um, uh, all these uh, stuff we are getting in a uh, biography niche. You see today, 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 a celebrity died. Before the celebrity died, there are uh, no any biography book about that celebrity or a singer or an artist. Before you open eyes and close it, you have seen over 2,000 book published on that particular topic. And don't forget, where do we get our information from? <laughs> Very funny. Uh, so where do we get the information from? Most of us, as a, as a, as a biography people, we know it for Abodo Ibu. We check information online based on article we have seen about that particular person, based on what Wikipedia is saying, based on some biography website is saying. That's how we get this content. It then depends on how you want to write. Maybe you want to you want your chapter one to talk about his early life. Why some people want this chapter one to talk about? His maybe is a marriage life depending so the information are the same thing everywhere imagine that's the same information depending on how you write it like i said after over two thousand books that's why after like two months they will not come for you that's really what happened when it comes to there's this man that died last month i've forgotten his name now but i guess that's what really happened when it comes to martin is it martin or matthew perry that's what really happened because if you should remember some books when matthew, matthew perry died I can't start a go terminated. I can't just publish a book about Martin. Why did I like calling him Matthew? Matthew Perry. Because the information are so people are repeating the same thing from in different in different books. They just everybody has their own cover. They're just repeating the same thing, waiting up until the day. So that's what they are trying to say here. And aside that, because you know that okay, this book is giving you sales. Same on biography or any other niche you are finding yourself. This book here is giving you sales. How can I make money from this? You now rewrite the book again with different cover, or you, the same book, you publish it again with different cover because they already mentioned it that you can, yeah, I, I can't see it again. You can you can change cover of your book or you can publish it in the same manuscript. You now did this, you now say because of that. This thing is is common sense, guys. It's common sense, not something that is far from heaven. It's common sense. There's a book you shouldn't try it with. Books I feel you can try that particular point uh, they mentioned there are uh, all these little contents book that you can't change the contents, recipe book that you can't change. Yam is yam. Jollof rice is jollof rice. You can't change it. So you can change the cover. Yes. But, but for books like this, you don't try it. Biography book, like I said. Because it's giving you sales. This book is selling. You now want to republish it using another pen name. Yeah, using another pen name. Using another, another uh, uh, graphics. Um, what's it called? Book cover. Come on. It's not done. And when you are into biography, like I said, be very, very careful. I told you, I, did, I started biography in November and I stopped in January. Because not that it's not selling, but the competition is much and rubbish. And no matter what, even though your book is not rubbish, I'll, I'll, I'll say that again. Even though your book is not rubbish, once they want to come for a name 
of a celebrity, they will just keep up terminating accounts, relating anybody that have, that have written a book, even though you have you have over two thousand books in your on your on your book chef, and because of that one book, they will, they don't want to know, they will terminate the account and, and let it go. So guys, even though I'm not saying biography is a bad niche, it's a good niche for people that knows how to do it well. I've seen someone that that's what he's doing since when he started kidney and he's still earning his money. So guys, the using of books, they don't really want it. Content that is rebranded or the or the the release, I guess I've explained this to you in what I just said now. Rebranded, same thing like changing the cover. The uh, because your account got terminated because of that book is giving you sales, and you you have to republish it. Or in that same account, you change the pen name. Yeah, you change the cover. You try to rewrite it. Be careful. Yes, that's what I say. Uh, content that is rebranded or released with a significant change in the meta. Metadata. What do we call the metadata? That's the, uh, the metadata. The cover. The 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 the, the what's it called? The um the keywords. The keywords precisely. That's a part of the metadata. Your description, your title and subtitle. That's what they really mean. You now they brand it. You try to re, you try to re release it. Okay, you you want smart, Abby. Mind you, are in the age of AI. We are over millions of people write it as in publishing books a day. AI, they must have set, set their AI to, to analyze, okay, this word has been programmed to a computer. If they should, they should see any, 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 this, any of this word in any of the book, that's why you see that your book gets blocked. I published a book two days ago. Immediately, the Kindle version was blocked and the paperback was live. So on certain them an email, they were like, I need to change the cover on the, on the book. What did I do? I have to just unpublish the one that was live because maybe they want to come back and i don't i don't skip through come back they'll surely come back safe and they see that, that book is live even though they they it's past that review state to for the paperback to went live if they come back and see that book i go chop and all my money don't go so guys without wasting much of your time let's see if you still have anything to say companion companion some people go verse for this part so companion guide including summaries <laughs> study guide workbook and uh, and, uh, and and analysis and other without even wasting much of english or saliva here <laughs> summary guys do i love summary but i've never done it before workbook i love it i've never done it before i have my reason i didn't touch it for me i feel I don't have the full details of the book, so I don't want to risk it. And you know, summary and workbook are books that are not allowed as outside the US. You have to be in the US. The people doing it are just risking risking it at the moment. That's why they are doing it. But yeah, imagine now. I saw a book yesterday, Blood Money. I don't know if anybody has seen that book. As at yesterday, it's ranking number two on book and number one in other, other subcategory. If you go and check Bexella, it's a new release book and it's ranking. So I saw somebody some people have written workbook on the blood money what's thing happen this blood money is talking about how us uh, sorry how, how china how china are killing usa uh stylishly not killing physical killing but with their with their technology with smuggling of stuff how they are doing that stylishly and the 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 the, the rich the power people that's the title of the book that's the subtitle and the people in power like the rich people they ignore they didn't say anything about it that's what the book is talking about basically and you're doing a workbook for that kind of book i don't understand what is workbook let's say remember when i was in uh, when i was pretty much young i'm a christian when i was young what i understand about workbook is when we are into in, in sunday school sunday school manual for children for for us to understand the Sunday school manual well, there will be a workbook for it. Let's say the name of Jesus. Where is the chapter? When we are reading the main the main uh the main Sunday school manual, it says Jesus wept in John 11 35. In the workbook, they will now say what is what where can what is uh let's say 11 John 11 35 says what it just making us remember what what we read or what we have read, uh, yeah, what we read before. To write it in the world. That's what workbook is all about. I know. I don't understand why you are doing workbook for blood money. That is talking about technology like TikTok, uh, like TikTok, that Chinese find a way to want to gain power, this and that. 
why are you doing work for such if it's a summary model you still understand summary is time to summarize because the book is over 300 pages for people that want to buy so they, once they do some summary of the book they will know what this book is all about they will buy the main book that's what i know summary books all about but for workbook for that kind of book i feel workbook if you want to do work workbook should be for self-help niche self-help niche that's what workbook should be for self-help in the sense that let's say puberty for children children books uh, puberty for girls you get so in the people in the main book which is the property they will be like uh and this also time change your part change your this change your that this and that so what book to that that will accomplish such book is so so time it's your time to check your period you should expect your period between next so so day so what book will be there to guide them what to do because they are your young people so what are we now talking about so basically amazon they say they don't want companion book anymore let me finish reading it. It's not allowed with, with limited or... I've written something here. Let's see. Let's see what I, what I jot down. Companion. Can, you can't make guide for other books unless people really like them. That's when, I, when I try paraphrasing it, that's what it means. You can't make guide. That's the workbook, summary book, um, analysis book. Um, I guess this will even apply. Applic yeah, basically on books. Uh, unless people lean there. So for me, I'll just say, please and please and please, for people doing this, I know initially they don't really want us to do it. Sorry? So like I was saying, I know initially they don't really want us to do workbook, uh, um, summary book outside, analysis book outside the USC. But people find a way of doing it, do you get? But guys, I would advise if you have to do it because we, we stubborn for Nigeria, which I know. Even when they ban Twitter for Nigeria, we still find our way to do it, to run it. If you want to do it, I would advise you should dedicate a, an account for just workbook or summary book. In case when they terminate, it not go affect your other books that are giving you money. That's all I can say. But if not, so just ignore it. They don't really want it. But does it make sense now? I wrote a book today. Someone is writing summary about it. Good and fine, no problem. So at the end of the day, people that are doing summary are even selling more than that, more than I do. Even though, yeah, I know workbook or summary book are based on books that are already selling. You get that already at ranking high. But let's just be considered, guys. Let's be considered. Though there are rules for workbook and and, uh, and a summary book for people that are doing it or any other guidebook. People know there are rules for it. The, the workbook or summary should be bolder. That is a workbook for or summary book for this particular book so that buyer won't mistake it for the main book. Yes, I know. But guys, my, my simple advice is if you are the one that are doing such book, but I know some course creator that's what they base their course, their their stuff on. Dedicate an account for such book in case they want to come for you. That's all I can say for that. Let me go back to mountain work, mountain work book. If you are publishing multiple story as one book, ensure the contents of the book are accurately reflected both in the title feed and on the cover without reading more. So for the guys, I've seen some cases. Let's say sometimes I want to jump in a niche, very funny niche, but I stop because it's too erotic. We call it erotic niche. So like having small, small clips of stories, erotic story, adding it together in a book. So just have enough book. So what they really want here is if you have, let's say, a children's story book, for instance. Let me not use the word erotic now. Children's story. We just want you want a different short, short, short story for children book. You get to comply it to have like hundred pages. It's not something bad, but indicate it on the title and on the cover that you have multiple different stories in a book. Simple. That's really what they want. Notes. Ensure that there is no language in your book title that implies your book is part of a bundle. Let me go to where I, I paraphrase it or change it to, to, to make us understand. What they really mean here is the main idea of... Is that where, where I am? Let me see. Notes. Where is this note here? Yeah? Okay. I guess I'm done with it. The main idea, uh, the main idea is to make sure people get what they expected, what they expect when they buy a book. That's not what I'm reading. Multiple book must meet all. Ensure that the ensure that there is no language in your book title that implies your book is part of a bundle. 
Ok, part of a bundle set. Sorry, I don't know what happened to my phone. My phone just went off. Ah, uh, okay. I believe you have gotten the message. I believe you have gotten the message. My my battery is down. You can't see my face again, but let me continue with uh, with what I'm doing. So they said people that have bundles on a book, bundles is in the sense that maybe um you want to compile like two or three books together as a as a bundles yes i've seen it that you can now price it together don't make don't have a language that talk about it on your you know on amazon kdp they say you should not have bestseller in your keywords you should not have something like kindle kindle select anything related to kindle in your keywords seems applicable to you don't use the word bundles or any language relating to it on your cover or your title to, to attract people they don't want such that's why they just say they don't want bestseller is your keyword so once the type bestseller your book won't show they don't really want that because once your book is not bestseller and you have your keyword as bestseller in your book they don't really want that they don't really want that so listen to what they have said here and uh and uh, and and uh, what and i bet you you will be safe on amazon kdp in general so guys if you find this video useful don't forget to subscribe to my channel share with families and friends that will need to and learn from this and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you have anything you want me or you want to know about amazon kdp you are still finding it difficult to understand feel free to send me a dm on all my social media platform which i'm releasing uh, the link to access me will be in the description box at the same time for all my social media platform i, I use nelcon kdp N -E -K -N -K -D -P, one word together be able to find me and send me a dm any question no matter how stupid the question is no matter how crazy the question is i'm willing and open to answer you guys so you like i said don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and see you in the next video bye for now Ashishi.